Mr. Pennypacker, I know we haven't had the talk, but look, look, Deborah, Deborah is a, a really, really destructive force. I don't think you understand. <laughs> Wait, don't hit me on the head. Richard, don't you be talking trash about my niece. That's just absolutely terrible. Deborah, come in here. Come on, prove it to this little stupid idiot. You're not, you're not to be trifled with. Well, I'll have to say that I really don't like it when a little bucket, little bucket with yellow eyes, he, little yellow eyes, he goes through and it disrespects a good southern bear like me. A good, good, uh, the good plantation daughter like myself. And I, well, don't ever be careful with the old plantation. We're on YouTube, not PooTube. <laughs> You're on YouTube, you can let it rip, but uh, we're not on like Bitwave or something here, or Deborah. I, I, I gotta tell you about how these sites work. You know, someday you're gonna be the host. You know, uh, you know, because someday I'm just gonna be too old. I, I, I can't do these like things anymore. You know, and you know the the, the saga of uh, Miss Deborah Pennypacker. You know, it's uh, something I'm proud of. Uh, and then you can bully this little run around. <laughs> yes, he's just a little crash helmet. He's a little crash helmet. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what are these two idiots doing? Well, actually, they're going to be, uh, play. I, I you know what? I wasn't even really sure what they're going to play. You know, I'm going to have them just play Diablo 2 again on uh, the Xbox Series X. So, they could play some. Because uh, Diablo 4 came out, but I don't want to spend any more money on them deborah because they don't bring any viewers <laughs> so i came to the decision i'm not buying any new video games you know whatever is on these wherever we got that's it you know uh, you, do, you don't now so they do very good at commentating wrestling so i'm gonna do that so um uh, now, like Dark Milo here, you know, he says you're you're out of control. I I don't really quite understand. Well, it's really understandable, uh, Big Daddy. Well, I well, I'm not your father. I'm just your uncle. You know. Well, uncle, you know, it's just I'm Deborah Petty Packer, and I just uh, say, uh, the, you know, those two idiots out there in that cabin, you know, uh, the they're gonna have to do what I tell them to do. Well, uh, that's what I like. I like a penny packer who takes control. Uh, okay, so, uh, okay, uh, Billy and Glenn, you know, you're there. Yeah. Oh, well, cracky cracky, so we're ready. I, you, you, you say we're going to be uh, doing uh, Diablo 2 again? <coughs> I... Oh no! Of course, you you two are going to play that because I don't, I'm not buying any new games on you. And plus, also you understand we're in a, a generation where it's so rare if there's a new video game that comes out and it's like, oh yeah, this thing's actually very unique. And it's like then all of a sudden you start playing it and it's like you realize it's just full of like it's full of game mechanic plagiarism. What so you know why you. you you know what? This was going to be kind of a short monologue. Let's not go. Let's not make a short monologue. You guys ready? Well, of course, uh, Mr. Pity Packer, we're ready. Uh, uh, if you ready, Glenn? Oh, I'm ready. He's ready to rant. I can tell. Okay. <clears throat> well, all right. So let's talk about Hogwarts Legacy, a game that apparently hates trans women and. All their struggles, and you right, Deborah, isn't that right? That's right. I don't like that at all. The, the you know, there's that 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 uh, that support of the German Chancellor, the support of the German Chancellor in England, uh, that J.K. Rowling, uh, she supports uh, the 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 Chancellor, the German Chancellor of uh, from World War Two. Uh, that's absolutely right. She is that name. Uh, what kind of world do I live in? I can't even say the name of the party because of the ding algorithm. They'll, they'll think, oh, he instantly said the name. He said the name. It must mean he's a pro, pro for that. He's, he's this is a neo German chancellor here, you know? <sighs> uh, 
it, I must ask, can you, you know, you talked about experimenting with kick. Uh, can you do that? I don't know. I, You know what? I'll be honest with you about kick. You want to go off on that road? I think kick.com's great as a viewer. Oh, if you're a viewer, you can pretty much get away with a lot of shit. <laughs> they have a filter, but they there's lots of ways to get around that, and you could just be an absolute troll, and, and mainly it's because they don't really have the time to check out the chat rooms unless they really like a streamer a lot, and they can start deleting people, like, left or right, but, and stuff. But for the most part... It, unless they have a lot of mods or keeping an eye on things, there are times you can find a, someone who's just a complete spurg and you can troll them. It's great as a viewer. As a streamer, you got to watch your mouth. You got to watch your mouth just as much as on Twitch, which sucks ass. So, no, no hard words. Hard words. We'll just say hard words. Because uh, you'll get banned for about two days. You won't get permanently banned, but you'll just... They'll make it hard for you to get comfortable on the platform. So, you know, and also, the you know, another thing is, guys, I don't like streaming. I, I, I stream, only stream enough to just maybe record these episodes. I don't like streaming. I generally don't like it because i generally find it it's very very hard to find what people like and for one second you could play a game and you know it's drawing all these people and then the next day you only draw like three people like and then you're like what happened to the other people it's because they didn't like what you're doing you know there's no real there's no i don't oh well, it's a long conversation you know, but I was talking about plagiarism with video games and like Hogwarts Legacy. I said, has ga game mechanics plagiarism? And I know someone could say, well, there's no way to make something fresh. I don't know, man. I kind of think Breath of the Wild's pretty, pretty original. And, you know, and I can see the, the sequel to it. It's got some interesting little things going on, too, with new some new game mechanics. Which is probably going to be stolen by all the main companies. They have no... They, you know what they do? They just grab a lawyer. They grab a, an entertainment lawyer. And he sits there. And he, they show him stuff off. And, and when they show their stuff off, I've asked a question. Can I be sued for this? <laughs> like, can I be sued for this? You know, and they go, Ah, well, I... Let's see here. No. Okay. Well, I actually change a little bit of this, and I, they do so. So that game mechanic plagiarism is like all rife for main gaming. Like a Hogwarts, I there's things I actually like in that game. Like I like the school, I like the the classical music, I like the the British very because it actually is actually designed after a British. Uh, uh, I think it was like Eton College or something like that. Or some really high, ritzy, ritzy, ritzy high school type. For like upper, real upper class. Like Richie Sunak went to school there or something like that. You know, and, and so I, I, there's something in me. It just, it, my heart glows in when I play that game. But then, but then you need to understand though, that's, that's fleeting because... That's not the main game. The main game is going into dungeons and pl fighting generic enemies. That's right, trolls and whatever. And it, it basically turns Hogwarts into just Lord of the Rings Jr. It's just Lord of the Rings Jr. with plagiarized game mechanics, you know. And you know, and you know, and it's like, okay, I guess I'm playing Witcher Three, the Junior version. Uh, um, okay, or just plagiarized, and is it the way we have you played it? Um, I'm not playing it because here at Saturday we love for we love trans women. Okay, I know you're gonna make fun of us. You're gonna make you can let the stones fly. You know, let the stones fly. But we we just can't. You know, we yes we we've already done one sin with which is owning it. But, you know, but let's just be honest. Sometimes, yeah, you know, it's kind of like the people who, like, 
purchased Amazon Prime, so you can see how bad the new Lord of the Rings TV movies are. And it's like, um, well, you, someone had to kind of purchase it, right? Like, someone had to actually see what it was. You know, they weren't getting a free copy of those episodes that someone actually had to sit through and go, okay, look at this, look at that, look at this. Okay, episode two, episode three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's the way it works in life. Someone sometimes has to sit there, regardless if it's good, generic, or just bad. Okay? And I'm just telling you, there are things I really love about that game. And do I want you guys playing it? No. Because I don't want you guys to be... You know, I there's a lot of hurt people out there. And I don't want that, you know. I don't think, you know, and I we get into that conversation first off, people are transgender, deal, they're a really small percentage of the population that gets a ton of stones thrown at them all the time from every direction. And it's just like, they, they're, too, they're only 1% to 3% of the population. And it's just, leave them alone, you know. And, you know, I hate to get all political, but... Just leave them all alone, you know, and it doesn't help that this game, you know, is based on a franchise that, you know, where I, you know where we're all going there. So I just kind of took it enough to just show you that we can't, we can't go any further with that. Now, as far as, like, wrestling, you guys did a great job with that. I'm starting to think that that's your strength, Glenn. Your, your strength is commenting over wrestling. You've got a really good, I... I like it, you know, but here at Shadow we do like to try to, well, we don't really have an audience. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I I would like to keep doing new games if that was that kind of industry. If, you know, we had, you know, like, hey, we got a new game out this month, you know, and it's just like, we, oh, yeah, by the way, our, our game is basically just a copy of Dark Souls. Oh, well, no, I'm not going to cover that game then, because it's just a copycat. I might as well have you guys play nothing but Dark Souls, which would be disastrous, because no one here at Satergrad is that great at. Actually, believe it or not, that last playthrough, I think it was you guys, no, it was, um, you know, it was uh, the other guys. You know, I, 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 you know, I don't want to get into it. I, you know, it's a different universe. But the, let's just say they were actually doing really all right. And, you know, which is probably the best anyone here in this company has ever done. But, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, as far as the whole game mechanics, plagiarism thing, it really got kind of political and, but I, I couldn't help myself. I just feel like, you know, you, you know, a lot of the new games are just copies and copies of copies. And I know a lot of times what people do is they'll just try to ignore about 90% of that and just try to focus on the very thin layer at the top. You know, like, what is just, what is the idea of this? And, and that's fine. If that helps you to get through, you know, you need a new game and, I mean, there used to be a time when Nintendo games were just all shades of brown and yellow and <laughs> be like, this is the number one arcade hit. <laughs> it's like, looks nothing like the arcade game. It always looks nothing like the arcade game. Oh, boy. I feel better. Okay. Okay, you guys go play Diablo. Well, Billy, uh, we are playing Diablo again. Uh, yeah, they, we, we're playing this game again? I mean, well, it's, uh, well, I guess Mr. Pennypack is trying to figure something for us to do. I, I don't know, we, we, I don't know, Billy, it's just, uh, this game, you know, you just sort of, you know, you just kind of hacking and slashing and that's it, you know, and, I don't know, Billy. I'm just I'm interested. <laughs> you know, why don't we just kind of like duck out? Uh, what? 
Billy, Billy, uh, I don't think we can do that, can we? Like, uh, it, well, uh, uh, what, what harm can it cause? I, I kind of got an idea, you know, Freighter kind of gave me some ideas when he was training us, and I got an old file here. <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're talking about the old Freighter SH plan, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, when you, you just throw it in an old file, and then uh, hopefully you just have, have an audience that takes notice. Well, uh, okay, well, what are we going to do? Hey, we can go see a movie, you know, like, like a, uh, I don't know, Lawrence of Arabia. Or, well, that's not even in theaters anymore, but hey, uh, this is all make-believe land here. <laughs> well, I'm sure Lawrence of Arabia is uh, over at the local theater. Uh, okay, let's, let's go. Not in town. Good day. Well, greeting, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lutgolain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. 
She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Charcy seems to be a very sweet girl. She's the smith around here and can help you by trading weapons and armor. Just as an archer needs bow and arrow, or a draftsman pen and paper, so Charcy needs the horadric malice with which to ply her trade. Not here. I left behind the Herodric Malice, my enchanted smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment.
can't carry anymore. Burdened.
the building. Thank you. 